Now, another item that's pretty useful in the system, and they've just added this recently, is that you can specify that this new page is going to look just like another page in the system. And what we can do to make that work is we can specify one of our other pages. We'll go in here and uh, maybe specify configuration as one of our other pages. And now we can say um, that this module, how to correctly configure the development environment, we want to create a new module on the page that looks just like that. Um, or we can tell it that we want to copy it. We want to have it be, we want the content and everything. Or we can tell it that we want this new page to point to exactly that same module. Uh, and if you've got, you know, three or four modules on the page, if you want to show up on this new page and you only want one of them to be new, uh, you can go in and configure that one at a time. The advanced setting gives us just a little bit more control here. Uh, the icon, you can specify an icon here, and that's what's going to show up in the picture frame on the main page. You can change the page's skin, and this will allow uh, you know, page-specific skin. One of the great things about .NET Nuke is just because I've specified a skin for my site doesn't mean that I can't change uh, one of my pages to have a completely different skin. Um, I haven't had any situation where I've needed to do that, but uh, maybe you want uh, your pages, you know, all essentially to have the same skin, but you want each section to be a different color or something like that. And this would allow you to do something like that. And then if you want to specify a different container for the page, you can specify your container here. Now, I'm not going to set those. That's just what those are for. While you're working on the page, you might want to disable it so that nobody else, uh, except for the administrator, can uh, work on the page. And that's what this checkbox here is for. If you have content on the page that's going to update periodically, you want the page to automatically refresh. Uh, you can specify your refresh interval here. What that's actually going to do is put the meta refresh keyword up in the head tag uh, so that it will, the page will automatically uh, repaint itself. Speaking of header tags, if you have other header tags that you want to enter uh, in between the opening and closing head tags uh, on your page, uh, you would actually specify those here. Now, a lot of people don't even know uh, HTML well enough to uh, go in and edit their text HTML module. Uh, but for those of you that want that fine grain HTML control, you can insert your own head tags uh, into your page by just specifying uh, the tags right here in this text box. Under other settings, this has recently been added. If we check the secure uh, checkbox here, what's going to happen is uh, when a user lands on this page, it's automatically going to redirect them to the same page, but with the HTTPS in front of it. So you would get uh, SSL security for that page. Uh, a couple different places where you might use this is if you have a checkout page, uh, the other place where you might want to use this is for the login page. You can change the login page so that um, the login page flips to secure mode. If it's unchecked and you are in secure mode and you get to that page, it's going to flip it back to the unsecure mode. Uh, all happens automatically just by checking that box. You might have a page that's uh, date specific that you only want to have show up on a particular date. You can specify the start and end date for the page right here. And then this last section here actually controls what the menu option or what this, the link to this page is actually going to do. Uh, the default is it's going to go to this page. But maybe we don't want this page. The other thing we can do is tell it whenever somebody chooses the menu option associated with this page, what we're actually going to do is go off to a completely different URL. Now, I have a blog at blog.dmbclc.com that's not part of this site. I might want to put a menu option that says blog on it, and clicking the blog menu option would go over to blog.dmbclc.com. Maybe what I want to do is I want this menu option to actually go to another page from the site. Now, this is really useful 
uh, you've got a menu hierarchy, and I've actually done this on some of my, my pages here. You've got a, a, a web development menu hierarchy. I don't really have a landing page for web development. So when somebody clicks web development, what I really want them to do is go to my experience page. And I've got web development set up so that if you click it, it goes to the experience page. And I did that by specifying the page checkbox and then choosing experience as the page we were going to redirect to. And then finally, if I have a menu option, say I want to bring up a, a PDF uh, or some other kind of external resource, I can choose file and then specify the file that I want to have loaded when that menu option is clicked. And generally that's going to show up uh, in your, your files that are in your portal directory. And it gives you the ability to upload a new file and you can do whatever you need there. But for this page, we're just going to have it be a standard page. So we'll go select this none. And if we go ahead and do the update, you'll see that it gets added to our site. So there's our new page right there. Because I didn't make anything the parent page on that. So if I want to move this around, this is a second question. You know, I didn't want new page to show up there. Maybe I wanted it to show up right underneath products. But what we can do is we can go to the admin menu option, pages. And you'll see that our new page is right down here. Now I can click that and I can reposition it so that it's now under or right above tracking and you'll see it move to right above tracking over here. This is another way of navigating to the site. Maybe I want to go change the settings of the new page. I can go and just select new page here and click my edit icon over here. Or maybe I just want to go view it and go to it directly. Now that I'm on that page, I can get back into the settings by clicking my settings icon here. And this is where all my changes can be made. I can assign it to different roles. I can take the D bush off of here. Uh, I can change some of the advanced settings. Maybe I can uh, activate it after I've disabled it and do the update. And that's how you add a page and what all the options for a page are for.